disruption, rupture, break apart, to throw into disorder. Does disruption sound like a good idea to you? Did you wake up this morning and stretch and say, I'm going to break apart my life today, throw it into disorder? No? Well, maybe you should. Disruption comes in many forms in nature and in life. Natural disasters are a form of disruption. Last year, Hurricane Harvey hit South Texas and disrupted everything and everyone in its path for miles. Just in the past few weeks, Hurricanes Florence and Hurricane Michael have disrupted a larger part of the eastern United States. This year alone, we've seen hurricanes, tsunamis, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and mudslides that have affected virtually every part of the world. Those are all events that happen from the outside in. They're external events, unintentional disruption. In that case, our response to the disruption makes a difference. Our internal and our community response matters. You make a decision and a community makes a decision of how to respond to a natural disaster. Here in Texas, after Hurricane Harvey, we saw so many heroic rescues being made. People came from far and wide to help with recovery efforts. The hurricane affected the landscape, the food supply, people, and animals. Homes were rebuilt, lives were restored, people came together. The response mattered. Other forms of disruption in nature may be intentional. A farmer, before he plants a new crop, often does a controlled burn of the pasture. The burning of the pasture actually creates the opportunity for new growth. If you look at the field, you may think that there is no hope, but you have to wait and watch and see what happens. You have to turn the soil, plant seeds, water it, and nurture it, and allow it the opportunity to grow. You have to trust the process. The same is true in our bodies, in our brains. Have you heard of neuroplasticity? It's the brain's ability to rewire itself and even grow. This may happen from an external event, something that happens to someone. If someone experiences a head trauma, the brain has the ability for one part to rewire itself and take over the function of the part of the brain that was injured. But neuroplasticity also works when we are starting from the inside out, when we are intentional. Meditation has been proven to be able to rewire the brain and increase the gray matter in the brain. The same is true when we do strength training and you're trying to strengthen your muscles and get strong. You push your muscles past the point of their threshold until you actually damage them. And then you rest and you allow for recovery. This is the process of getting stronger. The same is true with cardiovascular exercise. Recent research has shown that high intensity interval training is one of the most effective forms of cardiovascular exercise. You start with a really short, intense burst of exercise, and then you rest. You run your heart out, and then you stop and rest. This is the process of strengthening your heart. The same is true in our life circumstances. External events may come in and affect us internally. You may lose a job. You may go through the end of a relationship or a divorce. Or you might have a health diagnosis that challenges you physically, mentally, and emotionally. Your response to that external event makes a difference. You can decide your perspective and how you respond 
to that event. If you lose a job, it might open an opportunity for a job that is more filling, more fulfilling. You might have an opportunity to start a business or to take some time off and spend with your family. If you go through a divorce or the end of a relationship, you might have the time and the energy to enjoy hobbies, to increase your independence and to grow your resilience from difficult circumstances. If you have a health condition, your response to that matters. You might be able to create new opportunities for yourself, change your life and change your habits to improve your health or just your perspective. All of these things are external events and the internal response is what matters. You take action and you rest and you recover and you trust the process. If you are able to embrace these external disruptions in your life, you can create and allow opportunities for new growth and renewal. My family and I have experienced our share of external events that have disrupted our lives. We have experienced three major flooding events, one of which was Hurricane Harvey on our family farm within an 18-month time period. We had to respond to those events. We chose to grow through them and to allow them to make us stronger. In our own family, through divorce, remarriage, and becoming a blended family, we've experienced disruption, but it has made us stronger and allowed us to come together. So what do you do if you have a goal? Does disruption play into having a goal? Disruption can come from the inside out. It often is required. So it starts with the dream. You have to really take the time to consider what you want, what you really, really want. And you make a decision. You commit to it wholeheartedly. And then you take action. You respond. You remove obstacles. You pull the weeds of your life. This is where the disruption comes in. You get rid of everything that no longer serves you. My family has a dream. We're in the process of disrupting our lives now. We're going all in. We're betting the farm, literally and figuratively, since our dream has to do with the growth of our family farm. So we're removing obstacles. We're taking action. We're building new habits into our life. And then we're trusting the process. We're allowing for new growth. So whether you are experiencing external events that happen to you, disruption that starts from the outside coming in, or you have a dream, and that disruption starts from the inside out, I encourage you to embrace disruption as a gateway to growth. Newton's second law of physics says that for every action, there is an equal and opposite action. So in what ways do you need to fall apart to allow the pieces of your life to fall together? In what ways can you dig deep to give yourself the opportunity to rise strong? Whether the disruption is happening to you from the outside in and you make a decision to embrace it, or you start with a goal, you start with a dream in your heart, and you allow disruption to happen. Make a decision, commit to it wholeheartedly, take action, allow for the disruption, rest and trust the process, wait and watch and see what happens. Thank you.